Hello, my name is Arsten Ingolson from Siemens. I'm the product manager for Seaflow SC17, Coriolis Transmitter. In this video, I will teach you how easy it is to install and program Seaflow. The Seaflow hardware can be integrated into automation systems in two different ways. Through direct central integration or alternatively direct distributed integration. For both the central and distributed systems, the hardware is installed in the same way. I will demonstrate the direct distributed integration. Shipped with a Coriolis sensor is the sensor prompt, which is pre-programmed with sensor-specific data necessary for the easy programming. You just need to insert the sensor prompt into its slot on the rear of the module. Before snapping Seaflow on the rail, make sure that there is a backplane connector. Then hook Seaflow onto the top of the rail, push it against the left hand model, swing it down into place and screw it tight to the rail. Now that the Seaflow module is installed, we need to wire it. All wiring is accessible from the front like other cinematic modules. You either have the standard or EX version. However, the basic wiring is similar. I will wire up the Seaflow EX version. The Seaflow EX model comes with a built-in EX barrier and an isolating partition. The partition isolates between intrinsically safe connection where the sensor is connected and non-intrinsically safe connection. The non-intrinsically safe connections are for the input, output, Modbus, communication, and power supply. The non-intrinsically safe connection is done with three different connectors that comes with the module. The Coriolis sensor in the Hazardous area is then connected to the 20-pin intrinsically safe connector, then insert into the module. After completing the connection, make sure that the partition cover is in place. For the standard model, the wiring is the same. There is a single 40-pin connector without a partition. Now the hardware installation is done. You only need to turn on the power and see flow starts to measure flow. But system integration is not just about hardware. Easy and seamless software integration is just as important. For that, we provide well-defined standard software interfaces for Seaflow. I will demonstrate how easy it is to program Seaflow in step 7. The first step is to install Seaflow library on your PC. Then open Cinematic Manager. Then open Seaflow library and copy the library into your project. Open the block in your project where you want to insert Cflow function block. Insert the Cflow function block into your project and configure three parameters. The hardware config address, the data block address, and the vector address. Download the PLC code to your PLC. With only a few easy software integration steps, you already have the most important process values. The Seaflow and PLC gives you full control and easy data access. All data is read from the device direct to a pre-programmed data block. You also have all detailed diagnostic and status information available on the output of the function block without any additional programming. For more control options, you can find a step-by-step -step instruction in the Getting Started Guides and Operating Instructions. As you can tell, installing and programming Seaflow is a straightforward process. Once again, my name is Austin Ingolson. For more information on Seaflow, please visit our website.